Shaki. I'm from Vancouver Island and I am a hunter. I started hunting when I was 20. I was That was the first time I actually shot an animal because I grew up and I was busy and my mom didn't hunt so I'm like well girls don't hunt so I'm not gonna hunt and when I was 20 I was old enough to kind of think for myself and be like you know what just because girls that look like me don't hunt like I'm a girly girl I dress up and I love doing girl things and activities and shopping but I said I still want to try hunting. At 20 I started hunting I'm 26 now and I've literally done it full time for the last six years and it's I'm obsessed with it. It's the best thing in the entire world. Eva Sharkey is a recognizable celebrity figure amongst the growing numbers of women who are taking up the sport of hunting. Her fame is thanks in part to her recurring role on her father's very successful television show, Jim Sharkey's Hunting Adventures. In fact, more and more hunting shows are featuring women, but it's not just on the big screen that we're seeing this trend. Here in British Columbia, the percentage of resident hunters who are women has jumped from 6.8% in 2005 to 8.3% last year. In Alberta, the number has steadily grown from 7% as recently as 2011 to 9% last year. In terms of the actual numbers of women hunters in Western Canada, it's an increase of 47% in Alberta, and in British Columbia, it's an increase of 39% from just under 6,000 female hunters in 2005 to more than 8,000 now. In case you need more proof that the growing trend of women taking up hunting is here to stay, consider the economics. Manufacturers and outdoor retailers like Cabela's that operates a large store here in Washington State have recently begun offering camouflage clothing lines, archery equipment, firearms, and other hunting accessories designed exclusively for female hunters. Women, they say, are a booming customer base. According to the U.S. Um, Census Bureau, the, the amount of women active in the outdoors has increased 25% between the years 2006 and 2011. Yeah. And we have noticed an, an increase of uh, women hunters, yeah. um, outdoors, outdoors women that come in looking for a product. The Outfit Her line was, was developed in 2011 by women for women um, and it was developed because you know, women were tired of having to wear downsized men's clothing. Um, so they started with a few key pieces and today we have over 20 different pieces in the Outfit Her line um, from outdoor wear to rain gear to boots, um, gloves and uh, so forth. So it's, it's, and it's increasing. Yeah. With women now enjoying hunting in greater numbers, there is still one key demographic that remains largely outside the hunt camp tent. But with the advent of video games, among other distractions, convincing young people to take up the sport has been a challenge in the past. Convincing young girls has traditionally been even more difficult, until now. I think a lot of them are nervous that they think, oh, the boys won't think it's cool. I will tell them, the boys think it's really cool, trust me, the boys think when a girl can get out there and hunt, you don't have to be a manly girl, you can be feminine, like when I'm in the woods, yeah I'm hunting, I don't dress like this, I'm the same, I'm feminine, I try to be classy, I'm the same person, I just love being out there. So they can go be themselves, have painted fingernails and wear mascara and no one's going to sit there and judge them. In Vancouver, I'm Bryn Weiss and this has been a Sun News Special Report.